right, it is time for step four, and that is highlighting. But, oh, excuse me. Well, I did go ahead and do one more thing, um, but I figured you guys could figure it out, um, what we did here. You didn't need my help to show you how to paint. Black. So I just painted these guys black. The, the X's, let's see if I can get a better light. So I painted the black on these guys. Um, we will add a little bit to that. So it's time to highlight. So what do we want to do? What are we going to highlight? What are we going to accomplish here? We're going to um, highlight the gold, highlight basically everything that we've base coded. Uh, and then the last video, we'll be doing the little gems, the little blood drops. Um, so let's start with let's start with the, the bone in the paper. So the first stage is just straight up bleach bone again. So I'm just getting, let's bring this back in. We're just getting some bleach bone some screaming skull, whatever it's called now. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to get all the higher parts here. Um, so let's on this one, let's look. So I'm going to get to get the edges using the edge of my brush, not the tip, but the edge, just the tip. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm just going to paint the raised areas here. Uh, I find kind of going fast and getting a lot of fast strokes will get, um, oops, we make mistakes. Get a wet brush on it real quick. We might be able to erase it. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, we'll be all right. So that will kind of leave, basically we want to leave some of the wash and some of the color that was there. Um, so here on this part, we're using the edge. One more paint. We're just getting some of those raised areas here. So we want to leave some of the wash uh, and everything that was there, but we got to cover some of it up. So we'll get the edges. Where's my focus? Right there. Get all the edges. I'm going to go through, we'll just go and do all the paper first, and then we'll do the skulls. Okay, and I'm going to actually have to switch to my highlighting brush here. I'm still using the same brush. So even all the base coating we did with this one brush has a good tip on it, so... <laughs> Uh, so we can get in there and oops, do a lot of our highlighting. But let's switch it up here. Um, just because this gives me a little more control because while the tips are very similar, uh, when you actually look at the, the tip of the brush, right? They're very similar. This guy has less flex at the tip than that guy does, right? So the bristles stay kind of more where I want. Now what that does mean is I got to load up a little less paint at a time and it will dry faster. So I'm making more trips to the palette. Um, but it lets me get the detail that I want. Okay. So still in this guy, even with this little brush, using the side of the brush a lot. And yes, that's my dog walking around. Ryder, what are you doing? Now in this particular shape, um, with larger shapes, sometimes highlighting is a little harder. On something small, you just, it's really easy just to get almost the whole thing. But I want to be a little more careful on this. So what I want to do is I kind of want to get a sweeping kind of color and get the edges. Um, so I want to highlight the shape of this. Uh, and there's some little tears, so I can use those tears to my advantage and just kind of bring it up a little. You know, work with what I got. And bring up the corners and bring up the top a little. Now, because this is bone, I can actually do another layer immediately over a lot of the same stuff. Uh, and even just kind of layered up that way. So I've got something that looks kind of like that. And I want to get a little bit more. Okay, so that's how we're going to go with that. Uh, now, with the bone, this is where we kind of need to use the shape of the skull. So we're going to use that shape, and we're going to get... Like these parts here above his eye, uh, kind of like the top of the head, but leave some of the recesses on the side and around the nose and the eyes. 
So we're going to use the side of the brush to get some of these areas right here. Um, and I'm, I'm just kind of like scribbling almost with the tip of the brush, the shape. All right, so I get something that looks like that. Now, I can tell the way the color is showing up on this. You guys might not see when I do the white layer next. But we're going to do white. We're going to basically going to copy the same thing that we just did. Um, but we're going to get even less just to really kind of highlight the highlights. All right, this one back here is awfully dark, so we got to bring him up a little. So I'm just kind of scribbling just on the top. Maybe get something that looks like that. All right, and then the one on the shoulder plate. I'm going to focus on what you guys to see this one. And we'll kind of go along the top here. Just a little bit. But I want to leave some of that. And once that dries, um, it will darken just a little bit. Okay. Oops. We missed some. You're going to tell me I missed this? You were right. So same sort of thing as like what we did on that shoulder pad. I want to keep, I want to highlight the shape of it. So you can see what the shape is. Get just the edge. a lot of what you're going to see in the final product is you really feel like you're covering up a lot of the work you did and you're only seeing that final layer so like why didn't we just jump just to this layer but it's everything that kind of goes underneath it and builds on it if you just had skin and no muscle and no skeleton you'd be pretty sad looking right so if you, even though we don't really see it that stuff does form a foundation underneath that we need to have there okay let's get some white going uh, now the white, when I put it in my wet palette, because I use white to thin, uh, to brighten most of my colors, I'll actually put it in a, in a line like that, so I can steal from it without, you know, contaminating the whole thing. So, but in this case, for this stuff, we're going to highlight just with white. So get my brush loaded up just the way I want it. And we're going to do everything we did before, just a little bit less. So I'm going to hit a lot of the same areas, but I'm not going to get it quite as much. Right, and those, basically, we're looking at four stages. We've got the washed area, the stuff, like the deep wash, the stuff before the wash, the bone that we just put, and then the white. So those four really play well together. Same sort of thing with the skull. We're going to leave a lot of what we painted before and just pick up just some of the edges, just the high points. You just want to highlight the shape. Right, I don't know if you can really tell what I, that I painted there. But uh, on the final result, you can see it. You know, what you'll have in front of you, you'll be able to see. Again, not the whole thing, just, just the edges, just the idea of the shape. Uh, let's get this front edge a little bit more. Yeah, some of it's real easy to do, like an edge highlight where you just run the edge of the brush along it. Oops. Can't get the one on his back, just the tips of the crossbones. Just the tip. Someone was waiting for me to say that. You thought I'd miss it, didn't you? Rinse off my brush. Now this brush I have to rinse off a lot more too because it's smaller, holds less paint, and the paint dries faster in it. So if the brush starts behaving weird and the paint's not coming off, give it a rinse. Make sure your paint's properly thinned. Just a little too much. the one on his head. Okay. So now we get these guys. Just 
just a edge highlight, just like that. Just drag the edge of the brush along it. Oh, get the back. Don't forget the back. Because it's there, it deserves to be painted. Don't be lazy. Okay. Again, we're using what was already what we already painted before. Kind of skipping the tears in the paper, break up the line a little bit. Now, white's one of those colors too. Just like the bone, I can actually kind of put this same color. We just do white just again, uh, and actually get like us another layer, like another highlight. So without even having to mix up any paint. Uh, and then this skull, let's make sure this is really in focus, because this one I think you'll be able to see. So I'm painting just the edges, right? Leaving a little bit of space between the nose and the teeth to make the teeth kind of stand out, highlighting those bones, uh, the cheekbones and such. Nice bright skull with some depth to it. Okay. Uh, now, real quick for layering, we're going to do these purity seals, and this is going to go real quick. I'm just going to take, um, let's let's switch our focus so you can see. Come on, do it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, take a little bit of white, and mix it in with this magenta over here. All right, so I get a color just like that, about halfway between. So now that I've got that... I'm just going to get the edges, a little bit in the middle, get the edges, and the edges on this shape are broken up almost in like quarters, so that makes it easier for me to see where I want to kind of focus my highlights. All right, and then this one here, and this I'm even just edge highlighting, just dragging the edge of my brush over it, real easy. Now again, Beauty of the Wet Palette, I just go in and I take a little more white. Now this I'm going to have almost white, like you might not even be able to see in the color like uh, on the camera. Uh, the uh, But that pink right there, it's just barely pink, and we're going to use that. Come on, focus. Do it. Okay. Uh, to get just a little bit, just little dots. Yeah, see? I mean, the shape's already there for us, so we're just picking it out. One more paint. Gotta go quick because it's dry. There. Okay. What is next? Uh, let's do the yellow. Let's do the rope. Uh, I've got my yellow. Got my yellow. Now I'm a crazy kind of guy. That yellow's not really mixed up well. Let's see if we can mix it up. Uh, and yes, I will highlight every one of these little bits of rope. But it goes kind of quick once you get in the groove. So I'm just looking at the shape. Uh, now you could pretty easily almost give this a dry brush with like an edge highlight, but uh, I like I like painting it. Just hitting them up. Hitting up all the bits of the knot. Now on this part here, this we can just edge highlight. So I'm just dragging the edge of the brush along it. And it's just doing all the work for me. Oh, you ever do that? Drop your brush? I do it all the time. Okay. Mm 
Okay. If you get your brush loaded up properly, you're almost like dabbing it on instead of like painting it. That makes the rope look good. And these are the details that are going to stand out, especially something yellow. You know, so it's worth taking the time to get it right. Okay, and we can edge highlight this. I guess it's not really edge highlighting, but we're using the edge of our brush. Come on, Pete. We're almost there. Okay. Now we gotta get his leg. I forgot he's got it on his leg. And we'll go paint the brush. Get my brush a little overloaded, but with yellow, it's such a light color. It's hard to get it to show up, so sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I have a lot of rules, but sometimes you gotta break them. Okay, try and get it in the crease there. the edge of our brush down. And then the one arm. We're getting close guys, promise. A little too much paint in the brush there, but that's okay. Yeah, edge highlighting, um, or using the edge of your brush to highlight, it's almost like dry brushing with a lot of paint. It's the same sort of technique. But then it doesn't look like it's been dry brushed. Too precious the judges. Okay. Got it on our armor. Quick, wet the brush. There we go. Erase it quick. All right. Uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to save this for off the video, is I'm going to just mix up some white and yellow. And we're going to do all that again. So I'm just going to, I'll show you on, uh, I'll show you on this one right here. We're going to leave a lot of what we did before. We're going to do this. So that's that's what we're going to get. That looks good. Okay. I think we're the last thing we want to get is the gold. Now, the, the way I find the metal to work is I actually don't need to do anything. I just take this uh, rune fang steel or mithril silver, whatever you've got. Uh, and I just hit basically the same thing as what I've been doing. I just hit the edges Because of the gold that's around it. It kind of gives you the idea your, your mind kind of sees it as gold anyway That was a little too much on that skull Oh, I forgot uh, I didn't put my second layer of gold over the wash um, So what I'm doing is I just go in and I put gold in to brighten it back up because the wash takes away some of the shine I'm not worried about what I've done to those to the to the little blood things there 
because we're going to be painting those anyway. So we're just going to do one layer of gold. Just to get our, our sparkle back. Not sparkly vampires. And this is really easy, just kind of the edge of the brush getting those little raised areas and then I think it's just the cup. Where's my focus? There it is. Okay. All right, now we go in with the silver. And I'm just, I'm not going to get the whole edge. I'm just going to get the areas kind of opposite corners where I feel like light would be. I'm just using the edge of my brush. On this, we're going to get these, the top part of the wings a little bit more, and then just the tips. That's what she said. Just like that. Using just the edge of my brush. So we can get that sort of thing going. Cool. Uh, and then with the cup, same sort of thing. Just get just the edges. And then just where some of that shine would be on this left side in this case. And then a little bit on the opposite side. Almost nothing's coming off my brush, but there we go. That's what we're looking for. Sweet. Uh, and then we're going to do that on the other metal parts. Um... And here on, see where there's kind of a shine on those? We're just going to actually mimic that. Too much paint on my brush. Just going to mimic that just a little bit. Same thing on the vents up here. We're just gonna gently brush along this. I'm rushing this, I apologize. I made a little mistake there. Um, Ryder, just hit my camera. Okay, but there we go. Um, so then on the gun, same sort of thing. Just getting the edges. The raised parts. Just the raised parts. All right, any other gun? I'm starting to get a little sloppy as I'm trying to speed this up for you guys. But you can take your time with it. Just using the edge of the brush on those little coiled cable things works out. Foot's starting to fall asleep again. Okay. Did we get everything? Oh, a little bit more of the brass over the wash. That might be everything. Uh, oh, and the black. So the black, I'm just going to mix a little white and black. Make my own little gray here. I'm just going to highlight the top part. Just a little bit. Just 
just like that. When I move, you move, just like that. See musical tricks. And then, because we can't leave it at just one stage, we're going to mix a little more white, get a lighter gray, and just give it just a kiss, just a little crisper. Right along the top. Right along. So it just gives those X's a little bit of depth so they don't look quite as flat. All right, so when we come back, we got to do uh, just the gems, and then we are done. I'm going to finish highlighting the rope, but uh, you guys will catch me after that.